What's up, guys? Artist Version 1 here, and welcome back to another edition of Stories No One Asked for the podcast. I took a few weeks off there, but I think the wait is going to be worth it because we have a very special guest here tonight to talk about, well, some stories that you didn't ask for. If you don't know by now, this is based off a book that I never got around to writing and basically the one that I did write. So um, before I bring all my guests, we got to give a great shout out to the people over at moviesareusa.biz, which is a great website where you can find those hard to find TV shows and movies that either haven't been released on physical media in quite a long time or have never been released on physical media. Um, those hard to find uh, streaming shows, you know, the streaming services that don't release physical media, you can get them over at moviesareusa.biz and you can get them for a great reasonable price. And if the price just isn't reasonable enough for you, you can use my checkout code, that being artist, A-R-T-I-S-T, at checkout and save yourself 50% on your purchase. And if that wasn't enough for you, you're going to get free first-class shipping as well. And for the very few international listeners that I have, you're also going to get free first-class international shipping as well. And if you look through the 3,500 titles that they have available on the website, and for some reason you don't find what you're looking for, just email them. Say, hey, I'm looking for this. He's more than happy to take requests. Throw that on disc for you. Still use the checkout code. Still get the free first class shipping or international first class shipping if you like. Um, so head on over to moviesareusa.biz. Use that checkout code today. Now, let me bring on my very special guest. You guys broke the code quite easily. I didn't really make it that hard, but I brought on Wet Movie One, aka Brendan Mitchell. Yo, 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 what's cracking, man? Yes. So that's actually what I want to ask you about first here. So, movies are USA.biz has been fucking phenomenal for me, you know. And you've had people sponsor, not sponsor your video, not like you know, like hi, use checkout code wet movie and say you know. Um, but you actually reached out to movies are USA.biz and they sent you, you know, Joe over there, great guy, sent you a box full of stuff, and you were happier than a pig and shit. But for some reason, your audience rebelled against it so hard. Why do you think that happened? I think because I get, you know, the, I get screeners from the companies, you know, like, other, you know, other, you know, the, the, the actual companies sometimes. It's not definitely not as much anymore. But um, I think it was just like, Brendan, you know, I don't know. I, to be honest, I'm not sure. Maybe because maybe they're just like, you know, Brendan, what are you doing supporting supporting bootlegs or whatever it was? And I was just like... Because it's not out on it's not out on anything right exactly. now, you know, kind of thing. You know, but like you know, that's yeah. the way I look at it. Like I, I don't like to use the term bootleg when it comes to the great quality over at moviesareusa.biz, but um, but like it's just like name another place where you can find uh, Good Burger Two on Blu-ray. They just released it on DVD, but name another place where you can find it on Blu-ray. Uh, Moviezing.com. Okay, I think, okay. I think they, they have a copy of it. That's uh. Uh, that, that, you, that you can get that's pretty much from the company but the companies themselves don't want to release certain certain movies on certain formats so certain companies like like movies Zing, take on like warner brothers universal All right, way, way to throw that in my face but you know what i mean yeah i got you <laughs> but like yeah i always found that weird how like people don't come to me and they're just like hey you're supporting that website and everything but like you they rebelled against that shit so hard and it just blew me away and, and and that was the only, that was pretty much the only reason I was just like you know what I'm gonna back off this for a little bit I'm gonna back off this yeah no, no, not, found- not, not, not there's nothing wrong with the guy behind it or anything I have no problem with him you know yeah that. yeah oh yeah Joe's a great guy it was just like oh shit you know like I don't want to I don't want to deal with the hatred like I get enough of that shit every once in a while like anyway so I'm just like fuck yeah. it I don't let, let this go away um so let's let's you know that was just my lead in for that so let me go back in time here and I want to talk about something that. Um, you know, probably, you know, I, I, I pulled my live and not a lot of people really remembered it. So I want to talk about the, the gun prank. Do you remember this? No, really? Um, I get, you, you apparently sent out a mass message to, this is when YouTube would allow messages. If you guys remember that, this is how old school me and Brendan are. Um, he sent out like this very vague message that was just along the lines of like, 
I'm so sorry or something like that. It was leading to a prank video with you and Gabe where you two find a gun. And the the pun the quote unquote punchline, I guess, was where you accidentally shoot Gabe. Hmm. You don't remember this? I don't remember that, but I remember like the like a like a I like the message or something like that. I was like around like I think it was like around April Fool's kind of yeah. thing. No, it was Halloween. Oh, then I have I, I don't know anything about Cause I don't remember because that's when people started spreading the rumor that you 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 died that you hung yourself. Um, people were calling your blockbuster, including myself. No, that that I remember, but I don't remember anything about planning about you know with a gun and shooting Gabe or anything really? like that. No, not that not that part. No. Wow. Okay, because I remember that video. So I remember I remember putting out a weird vague message long ass time ago. Yeah. And then everyone started flipping their shit. And then I got like I started getting calls at my blockbuster and mm-hmm. stuff. It was like, oh fuck, okay. Because like I, I remember you when you eventually like made a video saying like, okay, here's what happened, and like you had to post the video basically saying like, okay, this is what the joke was, and um, like it was like you two finding a gun, like oh my god, it's a gun, look at this shit, oh. and then like the end is like you cock it, and like you know a, a gun sound effect plays people. Just so we know a gun sound effect plays and then it's like oh my god Gabe oh my god what did I do you know and then like like that was going to be like your your punchline to it dude I'm old as shit like I'm suddenly <laughs> like I don't I, I remember I remember something about people calling my blockbuster and everything yeah. like that but the whole thing with the with the gun I, I don't remember I don't uh, to be honest I do not remember that wow really okay no interesting interesting so um you mentioned it a second ago that's my 10 hour right there we go mm. So you mentioned it a second ago, you you get a lot of haters and trolls and shit like that. I mean, so, not as not as not as of late, but like there was not as of late, yeah, yeah, yeah but shit, you know before and like, am I right in saying? Because I mentioned this the other night. I, am I right in saying this that like, yeah, you know, you're di- you're different than me in that um, a lot of the shit that they say about you, like you get the comments of like you know whatever you know insert insult here, you know a lot of that. Should you you tend to let it roll off your shoulder compared to me? Yeah, like people talk about my teeth, my weight, my yeah, my, exactly. My and yeah, so like, how are you able to deal with that? Because I'll admit, I'm not like that. I mean, lately I have been when people come in and try and troll me, I'm like fucking whatever. But like back in the day, you know how I was. I'm just like, you know, what do you mean my nose is big? You know, mm, I don't know. I think during, I think at the beginning, I, it, it kind of fucked with me for a while. Mm-hmm. But over the years, since I've been doing it for what it was 15, 16, 17 years, yeah. it's just like, you know, brother, your teeth are fucked up. I'm like, it doesn't, it doesn't have that same. Effect. It's like fucking pick something new, dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty yeah, much like, like, that's, that's one thing that like I've always noticed about you is that like when people come in and start fucking trolling, like the mean trolling, not like the fun trolling, the mean trolling, like you're able to just let that shit roll off your shoulder, and like like that's something I'm just like. I'm never able to do that. Yeah, I, I don't know how. Maybe it's just the the years and years of being bullied at school and fucked with. I'm just like, eh, it's online. Who cares? They're clicking fucking, you know, click those ads too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> as long as you're making that money. I'm not, I'm not a baller on YouTube by any means. By fucking any means. But a few hundred bucks every month? What the, what the fuck, right? Is that what you're making about these days? A few hundred bucks every month? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right now the honest truth. The last, hey, uh, that's what that's what this show is about. The honest truth. Let's go. The last 90 days, it says. Yes. Oh, actually, wait. The last 28 days, I made uh, 627 dollars and 47 cents. God damn. It used to be a lot. It used to, it, I used to do a lot better back in the day before YouTube started changing and taking more profits away from us. I say, well, let's see mine here. The last 28 days, I've made zero dollars and zero cents. Oh, yeah. That's, that's surprising after all these years, though. I don't know how. I know, right? Oh, I just now crossed a thousand this year. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. But like, like I said, I, I've told people before, I really don't give a shit anymore. You know, like, I mean, you've made a, you know, a like a half career out of it and shit. Me, I've told people before, you throw 100,000 subscribers in my lap tomorrow, and I'd probably fucking give up permanently because, like, you know all the hatred that comes with that, all the trolls that come with that. I I, I couldn't deal with that shit like you do. Yeah, you know. I'm not gonna lie. After all these years, I'm surprised I'm not even close to a hundred thousand with like the consistency I've been at. 
probably yeah. some, I'm not saying what are you, like, what are you at now? Sixty thousand? No, not even that yet, dude. But like, really? Huh. It's uh-huh. just one of those things. Like, I'm not saying my videos are the best or anything, uh-huh. but it's just kind of like I've been so consistent for so fucking long. I don't know how the fuck I'm at at least at that. You know what I'm saying? You know, let's, speaking of your videos, let, let's kind of talk about that with the you know decline recently of physical media and everything. How is that affecting your video? I know you kind of branched off into like some other stuff. You, you recently made the the short film or short documentary, you, you kind of branched off into the autograph videos and everything like that. Is that because of the decline of physical media or is it just like, you know, I gotta, I gotta start producing different shit. No, it just sort of, ha- it just happened. It just happened? Know? Like when it comes to physical media, like it, it started slowing down really bad pretty much right when I got the job that I'm at right now, mm-hmm. uh, about two years ago. And I, I stopped doing the hoarding up videos or the the Blu-ray shopping videos every every Tuesday when yeah. I when I got when I got this job at the senior living facility that I work at as a mm-hmm. maintenance guy. So I, I couldn't do, I couldn't do the videos anymore anyway. So it, it it just sort of evolved in its own little way, you know. Like it's not like it I, I made a, I made a move. It just sort of happened the way it happened. I still love I just still love collecting, but it's more like online stuff. Like I got a big old package, not a big old package, but like a, a package from Vinegar Syndrome that I got from their halfway to Black Friday sale, and um, you know, bought some stuff from them, and I still get still get screeners from time to time. But um, yeah, with physical media, it's I like it, but it's not the same because like Hollywood. Oh yeah, a lot of Hollywood stuff fucking sucks these days, though. Well, not even that. It's just like you know, places like Walmart and. You know, Walmart used to be a fun little place to go to to look for movies. Now they have like one aisle. I know, me too. Just, yeah, it's not fun anymore. You know, we all know Target and Best Buy got rid of their shit. Yeah, um, that's what I'm saying, like around the time I got that job and I st- and I, I had to stop doing the Tuesday videos, it was around the time they started phasing them out really badly. So I'm just like, hey, no skin off my dick if I don't do the t- the, the regular Tuesday stuff every, every week, you know? Exactly, you know, and like, uh, like, I guess it's just my state because, like, I look at videos of like other Goodwills in other states, and their media sections are packed. Mine's a piece of shit compared to theirs and everything. Like, not even like the thrifting DVDs are like that fun anymore. You know, it's always the same shit. Yeah, I know what you mean, but I don't. Yeah. I, I, should, I, should, I should I should try thrifting more, but I I I just like I'm kind of uh, burned down on it. Yeah, because, like you said, it's all the same shit. That's always. Yeah. You know, they it's like they never get new shit. That or they're just not putting it out. One of the two. Or or there's or there's resellers hit that shit real quick and they're just... yeah, exactly yeah. Not, well, everybody I, I, think, I, I everybody thinks so. they got gold and it, now VHS people think VHS is gold and I think they're retarded. Well, yeah, I know. I mean, it's, don't get me wrong. I love the VHS format, but like it's twenty twenty fucking four. If you think you're getting more than two bucks for a VHS, then you're wrong. You know, they released the VHS tape this week at Walmart. But... I saw that, and I was like, oh, sweet. I wonder how much that is. And they want 30 bucks. I'm just yeah, like, think again. And people are selling it on eBay for 70 to 100 bucks already. See, that's... Oh, my God. All right. And people are fucking buying it, though. That's... Buying the $30 one, I can kind of wrap my head around because it's at Walmart and everything. But if you're going on eBay and paying 70 for it, you know what? Hit yourself in the head with a tack hammer. And guess what, dude? Today or sometime this week, I sold a Blu-ray off my eBay store for a hundred and fifteen dollars. Please tell me which one. I know it was one of those fucking Disney ones you got, but which one? It wasn't, but it was because I've been going through some old shit. I'm gonna say I'm not gonna watch this again. It's just sort of sitting here. It was the Blue Lagoon uh, Twilight Time Blu-ray release. Oh shit! Damn. But you know, I, I saw I saw some big biggerish titles from you know every now and then. People are, people out there just don't give a fuck. I guess money is nothing to them. You know what I mean? I, I guess yeah, because I'm like, oh, the Blue Lagoon, 115 dollars. Never mind, I don't care. Yeah, I know. Um, getting back on track here. Going back to the um haters thing. This is one of the main things that I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, well, not even talk to you about, but because uh, we had a discussion about this on my YouTube, and it kind of. It kind of got ugly. Um, but let's talk about Leafy is here. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I believe I'm right in saying this, so correct me if I'm wrong, but it wasn't the things that said, the, it wasn't the things that Leafy said that pissed you off. 
It was no. more that he was making money on the video. Am I right? No, not necessarily. Really? Okay. No, I don't give a fuck. You know, whatever, whatever that is, that was fine. But what pissed me off was all the hatred that came from it. Okay. You know, from from him making the videos and his little, you know, cronies and like you said, haters or whatever yeah. you want to call it. Yeah. And it just came on and just like you know, a, a, you know, the attack. And they still they and they still to this day every once in a while like leave like hey nice shirt in the in my comments every once in a while or like hiss or whatever the hell they write and their stuff and the mm-hmm. things. You know, so I know that they're leafy leafy viewers. And um, you know, originally like I I told people this before when I made my response video. Mm-hmm. It was just like the thing to do at the time. Like whenever somebody, you know, Leafy made fun of somebody or made a video on somebody, people would make a response video and get a fuck ton of views off of it. And I'm like, well, if this guy is using my video, fuck it, let me respond and see if I can get, you know, some, you know, some fucking hits, some views, whatever the fuck. Yeah. You know? And my my video never really took off when it came to that. But my friends, my friend that got made fun of, Tommy NC 2010. He got like a hundred thousand subscribers over fucking night because of his video response. Yeah. And I was like, hmm, because that happened to him first. And then Leafy came after me. I'm like, oh shit. You know, maybe this was, you know, kind of thing. And it didn't. Nothing, nothing ever came with it. Yeah, but that is your highest viewed video on your channel, isn't it? It was, but like at the same time, it, it didn't even, you know, I don't know how to explain it. It, did, it didn't really do anything. You know what I'm saying? It didn't. Nothing happened. It's just like that video and that video alone. But okay, so so here's where the rift. Is. Now again, I, I want you know, I want to clarify this. Everybody knows me and Brendan are friends and shit like that. But like you know, so this this might sound argumentative or something like that. But I I trust you. It's not. So you make that video. Yes. All right. So usually the the general consensus in the YouTube community is usually like when something like that happens, like somebody makes a video like, oh, Br- wet movie sucks. He fucking he did a video with Ron Jeremy. He sucks too, da, 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 all this shit. Yeah. Usually making a video response like that, is usually like, hey man, don't do that. Don't feed the trolls or don't feed them like that. You know, what was that ever in your mind? Or were you just like, fuck it, I don't care. I just want, uh, I, I want the hits. Yeah, I was I was riding the dick to get my two seconds of fame when it came when it comes to the internet at that time. Mm-hmm. Cause like I said, there was people that making response videos to Leafy, and they were getting fucking big ass, you know, all these hits and a lot of subscribers off of it. And I'm like, you know what? He made a video. He made a video talking shit about me. You know, I didn't know he was gonna do it. I'm just like, you know what? Let me ride yeah. this fucking let me, let me ride this coke tail for a minute or two. I ain't gonna fucking lie. Okay, you know what I mean? I, mean? I didn't give a fuck that he made fun of me because I'm so I, I'm so used to that shit. You know about people doing that. I was just like, you know what? Let me see what see what the fuck happens when I make a response video, and I made a few hundred bucks off of it. Fuck it. Okay. So, and then here's the discussion where like it caused a riff uh, the other night when I brought this up. So, you you know he said he said you know whatever awful things he said because like I I never saw I I think I saw like a clip of his video of it because you know like fuck I'm not gonna sit there and watch somebody you know make fun of my fucking friend and shit whatever you know. So, you know, he said whatever fucking said he shit about you and Ron Jeremy and whatever and shit. So you make your response video. Mm. All right. And you have your supporters. It's it's no fucking secret. You have your, you have your fucking support, uh, supporters and everything. And when your video goes up, man, they come out, man. You know, mm. there's the people that are just like, Brendan, man, that sucks that that happened and shit, man. Like, Brendan, we're so sorry. And like, Brendan, like, fuck, if you need anything, let me know and everything. Do you think that only happened, like, those people coming out and supporting you, do you think that only happened because you have a large audience or no? I don't I Maybe. And that there's a, a, there's, there's a good small uh, group of people that really give a shit. Mm-hmm. I, th- I think about me that you know that some of some of them, some of us we know we know each other some of them we don't yeah but I think that you know people like me I think is more easy to connect with than say, like say someone like Leafy or other other YouTubers that you know uh, you know they, 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 they that make videos and stuff because I think I'm more vulnerable and I think I put more of my life on YouTube than I fucking probably should. Yeah, agreed. So I think people. I mean, are, agreed. Like as in, like I do the same thing. Yeah. So I think people are just more related to me. So they're just like, oh, 
some some big assholes doing this shit, man. Fuck that other guy. You know what I mean? Because the reason I ask that is uh, is because you know it's been well documented that people have verbally you know attacked me you know accusing me of shit that didn't happen and everything and then when i make a video response about it it's hey will artists whatever don't feed the trolls man you shouldn't do that and everything but like when you do it it's like oh my god brendan we're so sorry that happened and everything i i get the same messages too from some people don't you know don't feed into shit i get i get that too but, but like, but but when it happened to me, and again, this may sound like sour grapes and shit, but like when it happened to me, there was no fucking like, oh my god, Will, we're so sorry that they're calling you that, and like, oh my god, Will, we need to do something about that and shit like that. It was all, don't feed the trolls, don't do that, don't make video responses. But when you do it hmm. to a big YouTuber like Leafy, all of a sudden it's like, oh my god, Brendan, we're so sorry. And the argument that we were talking about this with. Was that like, oh, well, uh, Brendan has a bigger audience. And I'm like, so because he has a bigger audience, he gets people to support him and I don't? I, I, I'm not going to lie. I don't, I don't understand all that either. Yeah. Okay. That, that, that has been, I'll tell you right now, that has been weighing heavy on my mind ever since that incident happened. Yeah. You know? All right. So. Let's let's transition to something else here. So something one of the viewers wanted to know about, uh, because I'm uh, again like so I, I want to clarify this too. I should have clarified at the beginning, but like people think that like we talk twenty four fucking seven, and we don't. No. Yeah, me me and Brendan are cool and shit like that. And we but like the amount of like personal information that I know if we and me and Brendan are on the newly game the newlywed game. We're going to fucking fail miserably. Yeah. You know? Um, but, you know, some little shit I know you here know, and there. You know, and you know what my response would be for every every question? What? Hannah Montana. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah Montana. <laughs> <laughs> that's how long it's been. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, fuck. Oh, that's great, dude. Hannah Montana saved uh, life. Yeah, yeah, or, like, fucking autographs. Like, yeah. That's it. yeah. Which is all Brendan's fault, by the way. Um, hey, fuck you. Yeah. So let's talk about the weight loss journey. Uh, when you initially started the weight loss journey, you were what, 450? Around there, yes. I think it was like 420, something like that. 450. Now, one of the things that somebody brought up with, and I'm pretty sure I, I got this one right too, because again, we don't talk personally, but or that much, I should say. But you did it. 100 percent straight no surgeries right yes i have no money for that sur surgery there you go they, somebody said like oh he did surgery right i'm like no Fuck you know no. i only have i have, have, have health i have health right now i have health insurance for the very first time at the job i have i don't fucking i don't i should use it more yeah but uh no i've never gotten surgery can never afford that shit so when you initially got what, what was the lowest you got down to i the lowest i got down to was 198 and then that's wow. when with the shit Damn, I didn't see. I didn't even know that. Yeah. You know, like I didn't know you got that low. I thought you got down to like two twenty or some shit. No, I got down to one ninety eight, but I was like blacking out and like fucking all sorts of shit was going on with me. I, I did that shit the completely wrong way. And oh, uh, you did it the wrong way. What? What? Okay, there, there's a story. What the fuck did you do? No, I, I'm just saying, like, you know, I, I was really like constricting my calories and way more than I probably should have. And some days I wasn't eating shit, you know, I was like doing that, you know, fasting shit. I'm like, wait, what am I fucking doing? You know what I mean? Like there's, then I caught, caught myself doing it. I'm like, Oh shit, it's been three days. What am I doing? You know, oh, kind God. of thing. And, uh, you know, it, it got kind of weird and stuff. I never like, I never like threw up or made myself throw up and never did that shit. But I was really just kind of, you know, I don't know. I, I went to the gym did the, did the treadmill yeah. for uh, like two or three hours a day sometimes. But this was back when my my main job was YouTube, and that was like the main income, that eBay or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so all I did was do that, go home, go to sleep, go to the gym, do an hour, go to sleep, go back. You know what I mean? I wasn't doing shit else but that, eating, sleeping, and going to the gym. And, uh, and since I started working, you know, working again at like Walmart and these other places, I it's, it's been kind of hard to fucking uh, keep it off in my, uh, you know, my fat boy problems just take over sometimes and I'm back to pretty much where I was before right now. You are not back up to 450. No, no, fuck no. 
But uh, it was like 390 right now or something. Damn, dude. You got to get back on there, bro. I know. I'm get, I'm losing the weight now. Shit. Maybe not as fast as you and Sean did, but I'm losing it. Yeah, I started going. I started going back to the gym with my friend David. Uh, this is like my third week back, going uh, three to four times a week, just kind of you know, trying trying to get back at it and stuff. You know, what I mean, sometimes depression just takes over, and it's just kind of like fuck. I don't give a shit about anything. Like I'm surprised. I'm sometimes I'm able to keep up with these fucking videos with the way I feel sometimes when I wake up. Dude, I fucking get it, man. Like fucking, I have a uh, MDD, and like, like you know, I I mainly I mainly. I'm a live streamer and shit like that. And some days I'm just like, what's even the fucking point of going live? I mean, I'll believe my audience is like, you know, 90 times fucking smaller than yours. You know, you, you fucking just have to hit the live button and like 200 people show up. Me fucking, I hit the live button. I just got to wonder if fucking three people are going to show up. Dude, the other day or yesterday, I made a video going to Walmart on the hunt for that fucking uh, VHS. Uh, yeah, just all the posts for that. Yeah. yeah. Look, look at my hair. I just got out of bed. I, I barely gave a fuck to comb my hair, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, some days it's worse than others. I was just like, I don't give a fuck about combing this shit. I just did it with my fingers real quick and went outside. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so, well, like, see, but at least, like, that video goes up and you're going to make a couple bucks. Yeah. You know? Whereas me, if I go live and shit, like, fucking, I'm not going to make dick. You know? And that that's, like, the, the fucking, the, the okay. demotivation. What, what do you think happened that made that happen on YouTube for you? What do you mean? Don't you, you you never got monetized, right? What happened? Well, I was you know there was that period in time in YouTube where you know they were giving everybody monetization. Yeah. And I did have it at one time, and like I've said this story before. I mean, since Brendan's asking me a question here, um, I I did have it before, and like you know, there's certain trolls out there that'll claim like I'm the reason artists doesn't have monetization. Horse shit. Mm. This is the fucking reason why. What happened was I had monetization at one point and I thought YouTube went by different accounts. Mm. So I thought I'd be clever and go on my different accounts and click the ads. Oh, yeah. That's not how it works. It's okay. IP address. Yeah, that's a no-no what you did on that one. Yeah, so YouTube was just like, hey, wait a minute. You know, and they're just like, all right, you're cut off, pal. Yeah. You know, but now that I have like the the thousand subs, now I got to get like some other fucking qualifications to get it again or some shit. And mm. the qualifications I need, I'm not going to come anywhere close to. So yeah. doesn't really matter. Anyway, back to you. Enough about me. Um, so here's something that I, you know, again because people think we talk 24 seven and shit. So this is, I, I feel I get this question just about as many times as you do. And I think this might be one that you're going to be like, I don't want to talk about. This is the only one I have written down where you're going to be like, I don't want to fucking talk about this. Okay. And if it is, I'm not going to be surprised, but the tension with Sean, what okay. is the real, what is the real story with that? What do you mean, like how we stopped talking for a while and stuff like that? Yeah, because like there's so many different, you know, how the YouTube community is. There's so many different fucking stories about like, oh, I heard this and I heard that and I heard that. And people come to me. They're just like, well, how come he doesn't talk to Sean anymore? I'm like, I don't fucking know. I'm not his fucking biographer. Well, I don't think I talk to him like 24-7. I don't. Well, dude, listen. I think... I think it all started, like, don't get me wrong, me and Sean, are, you know, we're, we're cool now, we, we talk okay. to each other, it's definitely so, not... So, again, what, what drive the wedge between y'all at first? Okay, look, like I said, me and him are talking now, it's still, it's still not the same as it used to be, you mm -hmm. know, back, back then, how we used to talk to each other all the fucking time. Yeah. But, back then, it was, it's, it's, I think it started with, I, I don't know, you know, people have their own different sides, but I think it started when I started going out you know, when I lost the weight and stuff like that, I started going out to parties and movie premieres and, you know, I started like meeting new people like Danny and Luna and, you know, or, I mean, I didn't, well, I met Danny and Luna when I was still fat as shit too, but, yeah. you know, when I, but when I started like going out, meeting more people, doing more things and, um, you know, going out to parties and stuff. And I think, I, I, I don't know, but I think it got to him somehow and it, it, it kind of like, I don't know, Either like him know, not be like him not being included or something. 
I, I, I can't really speak for him, so I'm not sure. But, you know, he when he, he went off and made a video out of nowhere on his YouTube channel where, you know, he was like, um, what was it called? Uh, what, he was like, he was like you know, when he would do a movie review, he sometimes back in the day, people would do parodies in front of it before the, yeah. the review. Mm-hmm. He did one for the movies, I believe, Split. And he was impersonating me. Oh, yeah, I remember hearing about that. Okay, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. That, that just came out of nowhere. I'm like, okay. And, you know, then he, like, said something about, like, how in, in the video, like, he impersonated, he impersonated me, Danny, you know, some, some of the other crew or, or, you know, wet movie crew, whatever you want to call it, my yeah. friend. And um, in, the, in that video, you know, he was talking about, like, you know, look, I like going out dancing and shit like that and, like, saying all the kind of stuff that I, I was doing at the time. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, out of nowhere, in that video, he said, uh, "Oh man, I like going out dancing, and there's this girl I like, and I don't know, she's really she's really into '90s stuff, and you know, like you know, pretty much like you know, put, putting my business out there that I I I, I like a certain person, yeah. And people people in the comments just like stirred up shit from there, you know what I mean? And that, I think that's what what started it. I think so. So could you say that it really wasn't you two? It was. The community that we're pretty much drive the wedge. Well, if it wasn't for him throwing that out there in his his video, I don't I don't I don't think the people were, in YouTube would have done or said anything. Mm, that's fair. But at the same time, I I don't you know I I don't really know I can't I don't want to speak for him or anything like that. Yeah, I got you. I got you. You know what I mean? I, I I still I still I still think of him as a friend and stuff like that. But there was a time after that it was just kind of like you know he was like fuck you. I was like no fuck you. You know I, you know. Yeah, because I remember, because, like, you know, people had their own, like you said, people in the community had their own fucking story. And then, like, yeah, there was that time where, like, you two were just, like, not on good terms. Yeah. You know, and then, like, all of a sudden, one day, you two are in a video again. And it's just like, okay. this is Yeah, you know, so that's why. And then people ask me, you know, like, people come to me. They're like, so what happened with Sean and and, and, and Brendan? And I'm like, I have no idea. Yeah, the thing is, man, like people, you know, we all we all, we can't just hold, we can't hold grudges, man. Life life is too fucking short to sit there and hold grudges your whole fucking life, mm-hmm. you know, over some trivial, stupid shit like that. So, you know, I I hope he put his you know his shit aside. I know I don't really give a shit about you know what he said anymore, but you know it's just like fuck it. Let's just keep let's just move on, you know. That's fair. Now, now again, this is. This is somebody else saying it, not me, but somebody brought up the question of, do you think it was, do you think, I know you say you don't want to speak for him, but like in your personal opinion, do you think this rift or whatever that rift you two had was a form of jealousy? Maybe. Okay. It might, it might have been, but who, who who's the say? So I'm not that, per, I'm not on that side. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. And speaking of people always asking me stuff, I swear when this incident happened, I, I, I probably had more questions about it than you probably had questions about it. So for, I, I believe probably for the first time ever, you may have brought it up in other lives that you've done or some shit like that. But, you know, so we have it fucking recorded, signed, sealed, fucking delivered. Let's talk about Renegade Fox. OK, so for the backstory. Renegade Fox had a contest where everybody made a music video for one of his songs. Whatever one got the most views won $10,000. And yours uh, won, but according to Renegade Fox, it didn't. And people started shit. So fill in the blanks there. Well, yeah, Renegade Fox. I haven't heard, haven't heard or even talked to him since that whole thing happened yeah and um it was one of those things like our art like artist said uh he put out this video saying hey anybody that uses this song and lips lip syncs to it and makes a cool little music video out of it whoever gets the most views and shit like that will win the money i did the video and uh i promoted it like crazy like some fucking idiot just like i you remember know, that too oh my god every day on my fucking facebook wall that goddamn video showed up it was so, it was so, I don't know what the fuck I was doing in my life. I was even telling people I worked, you know, 
that were shopping at my fucking uh, Best Buy, not Best Buy, my uh, my Blockbuster at the time. Yeah. Hey guys, have you seen this video? Click on it. Click on it. Share it with your fucking friends. I'm like, what am I doing? I'm saying this to customers at my work. Dude, I, dude, I'd be the same way, man. Ten grand's on the line. Fuck them. You know. And then like all of all of a sudden, towards the end of the whole contest, there was this person that came on, and that had like fucking like twenty subscribers or less or whatever, and these these girls or whatever it was. And they got like a shit ton of views in like a day and a half. I'm like, there's no fucking way. You know what I'm saying? There's no fucking yeah, way. Yeah, that sounds a little sketch. And um, I was going to say, whatever fuck, he, he ended up, you know, he called me once or twice during this whole contest. And I was going, thanks, man. Thanks for sharing the shit out. You're doing a good job. Keep going. Keep going. I'm like, okay. And, yeah, I never do that. It, it was strange though, man. Then when the girls won, and then all the, he got this big backlash from like the the YouTube community and stuff, saying it was yeah. me. And like, he pretty much he sent me a cashier's check. Yep, I remember for ten thousand dollars. But like the way he, the, the last time I heard heard from him on the phone was just like, hey, 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 you know, like talking to me all like you know, like 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 a like a thug, a gangster or some shit. You know what I mean, like. You're, you're really the winner and blah blah blah. I have a, I had a feeling he was it was a whole like a, like a scam thing and he just ended up just doing it because he I don't know I don't know I he, the money the money came through in a time that my family really fucking needed it and uh, it happened and I'm not sure why he sent it but I, I I think originally it was gonna be like a big fuck you scam thing and no no one was gonna get shit but then he, he I think he felt bad for my family and myself my me at the time. I remember him making I remember him putting out a video saying like. Um, I've heard what y'all said and everything and Brendan wet movie. I feel for you. So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and send you $10,000 too. You know, and I that's don't... another, that's another thing I get. Fucking, again, I get, I get asked about like, I'm your fucking biographer and shit. And they're just like, how come Brendan spent all the money on fucking DVDs? And I'm just like, he didn't, what? you know, like the day he got the fucking check, they went and paid the fucking power bill and the rent and shit. Yes. Yeah. Like, I can tell y'all right now, like, and Brendan can back me up on this. Out of the $10,000, out of $10,000, Brendan bought one DVD, and it was the Monk Complete Series. Yeah. And then the rest of that money did well, go towards, I, well, I, some I, of it, I wouldn't say the rest. Yeah, no. Some of that money went towards out and about the movie. Yes, that and uh, a little bit went to Gabe. So he can get oh, like, like a, oh like yeah, because he did. He was in the video, so I guess yeah. Like, he, Gabriel got like a like a PlayStation two or three or whatever the fuck it was at the time. So speaking of out and about the movie, like, did you have that idea before you won the money, or like was it an idea like during the contest? Like, man, if I if I fucking win this contest, I'm gonna make that movie. I had no idea what I was gonna do until I did it. Really? Mm -hmm. So you did, are you essentially saying you pulled out and about the movie out of your ass? Pretty much, but I mean, like, yeah, pretty much. If you think about it, there's no fucking script to it. <laughs> well, yeah, but like, you had no plan for it. Like, you're just like, I'm gonna go to Vegas and film a movie. Yeah, it was. It was kind of like I gotta do something just to get away for a while because this was uh, a few months after my father passed away. When oh, yeah, me and my me and my family were, me and my family were struggling and mm -hmm. stuff. But, you know, his part that he was paying was obviously not being paid for anymore because he was no longer there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, me and my mom and my sister were all, like, trying to figure out what the fuck to do next. You know what I mean? So that, that music video thing was, like, a big thing at the time for us, trying to get that fucking views out like that, you know? And uh, that, that was pretty much why we did that contest and we pushed so hard as we did at the time. So then you go to Vegas, film out and about, and, um, not, dude, that fucked me up. I don't know where I was going now. Um, no. So I went to Vegas, I did the out and about, and then... Uh, that's it. And then fucking, I think that was it. Yeah. It got so, the place so Al, okay. So there we go. So Alan the Bout ended up being somewhat of a, of a big deal for you. Cause it was essential. I mean, really, if you break it down, it's, it's essentially your, your first like feature length film. I, I don't know if I can call it a, a fucking movie or a film. Really? It's I just mean, like, you, I mean, time. it doesn't have a narrative, but I'm just saying like, I mean, you, you took, like yeah. your out and about vlogs that you did with you and Gabe, you you expanded on the idea. Yeah, you yeah. went to a new location. You know, there yeah. were some sweet cameos in the movie. I'm just saying. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. You know, double piss the chesty shit. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about those movies. I always forget about those. And you still talk to that cat, don't you? Who? The guy who made Broken Heart. Well, not really. I talk to you more. You know what I'm saying? And we bar- me and you barely even talk to each other. That's true. That's true. I think I think that guy Gino, or whatever. I think I told you he he like tried to fr- re- try to friend me. Somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, or Instagram or some shit. I'm like, that's what I was like, that's why I thought you still talk to him and shit. I was like, artist, look at this shit. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, here? you know. Yeah, but uh, you know, he took those movies down. You know that, right? Yeah, it's all. That is what it is. I still got the DVD somewhere. I think I do too. Do you? Yeah. Where I have fucking no idea. And um, oh yeah, you know that's something I want to fucking mention about because like again, this is this is just something trivial, but but uh. Brendan did out and about the movie, and he's, he's going to put a little bit of money into the DVDs and everything like that. And, you know, Brendan knows I love fucking audio commentary. So, like, he comes to me and says, hey, you want to record the commentary for the movie? I'm like, fuck yeah. Let's do this. So we get together one night. We record the commentary. had a great time doing it and shit like that. You you would have thought I, I, I sold Nazi war secrets to fucking Russia or something because, like, fucking... I'm not going to mention who, because mm. fucking it's whatever. But let's just say somebody who appears in the movie was not fucking happy about yeah. the commentary. And I was just like, really? You're going to fucking get all bent out of shape over this? Yeah. You know, like, fuck, dude. Um, anyway, you eventually go off and make um, Out and About 2, Vegas. Yep, sure. So that one, you actually, like you kind of have a narrative going on in that one. Like you're trying to spice it up a bit. Was Vegas again, just like, okay, like I don't really have money to go somewhere else. Like, fuck it. Just yeah, Vegas pretty again. Or, or pretty much. Really? Oh, see, I'm just, okay. I didn't know that. I was just pulling that out and everything. Um, so it, at the end of out and about two, you kind of tease a third one. Any hope of that third one ever come to fruition? I would like that to happen, but if it does, I don't know if it's gonna be that New Orleans, like like we said in the in the movie. Because mm-hmm. yeah, I that think that <laughs> the way things are and the prices are these days of things, that seems like a little far fetched right now. <laughs> it's gonna be like instead of New Orleans, let's go to fucking San Diego. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because like that was the original idea. Like I, I tell people, I'm like the original idea was to go to New Orleans, and I was supposed to be in that one. Yeah. You know. Um, they're like not like in it as in like I'm the star, but like I was gonna be part of the crew in that one. Mm-hmm. Um, but speaking of uh, you, you know your movies, uh, this is something that kind of slipped under the radar with some people. Probably not a lot of your fucking fans slash viewers probably remember this, but you and a buddy, I don't remember who, mm-hmm. you actually you two actually sat down and wrote a feature length film. And actually started a, a Kickstarter or Indiegogo, one of the two for it, and it flopped no, miserably. Yeah, no one gave a fuck. So we uh, we scrapped that, and I still have the me and me and or Jose wrote it, and I had the I had the Jose, idea, that's what it was, yeah. Uh, I had the idea of, of what the, what was happening and all that stuff, and Jose, of course, is better at words than yeah. I am when it comes to writing, and uh, he even has a you know he he's been directing a lot of movies lately for the Asylum. And uh, Harry Manfredini, that made the music for all the Friday the 13th, has been uh, doing the music for his movies now, which is fucking cool. Uh, oh, yeah, his newest movie uh, is actually on movies.usa.biz. It's called Monster Mash. You can get it on Blu-ray from uh, moviesareusa.biz. There right you go. Now. Use that checkout code artist. Save yourself 50%. But, um, yeah, Jose, Jose wrote it. I have it on my... Uh, I have it saved on my computer in a PDF file. It's like, you know, like a kung fu, you know, action kind of movie. And I was, was supposed to be like me trying to fucking get Gabe gets kidnapped. And it's me trying to fucking do all these different tasks that I have to do to try to save his life. You know what I'm saying? Why do you think no one cared about that? Because, like, here you are. Yeah, I mean, I mean, whether you don't call them movies or not, I mean, technically you have two movies under your belt, two full length movies under your belt, not to mention your fucking short films that I'll bring up in a moment here. But mm-hmm. like you have those under your belt. So here it is. You're finally like, all right, I'm going to make a fucking feature length film and everything. I'm just going to fucking kickstart a fucking, you know, I, I forgot what the budget was. for that. What, what Do you remember what the budget that you put on that was? 
I do not. I do not remember. You don't? Okay, I don't remember either. But like, you're like, fuck, here it is and everything. And just the one time that, you know, your supporters are just nowhere to be fucking seen. Why, why do you think it finally was just like, no, we don't care? <laughs> to be honest, I'm not sure because even when I, I did a, like a Kickstarter kind of thing for out and about the movie, the mm-hmm. second one, the second one, yeah. I, I think I just barely got to a thousand dollars or maybe under that to try to, you know, help, help us get there and, you know, pay to do, you know, certain things for the movie kind of stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. And, um, I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know. I'm not sure what it is because other, other people could do the same thing and it, it works for them. Yeah. You know? Cause, cause I was even pimping it out and cause I'm just like, fuck, there's a role in this movie for me. Fuckers like, come on, let's go. Yeah. And I remember sharing it one day, and you're like, "Stop sharing it; it's dead." It, it, it is what it is, man. People, people, you know, if they want to support something, they do. If they don't, they they don't. That's fine, you know. But you never know unless you go out there and try, you know. But I, I hope with the family documentary that I made or project I made, you know, put put some stuff in people's, you know, psyche that I'm not just a, a guy that makes YouTube videos or like long YouTube fucking out and about videos. Yeah. You know, I'm a guy that actually can put something together if I if I had the right stuff to do it with, you know, and I, I'm planning to do another, uh, hopefully another documentary soon. All, all I need is Gabe so I can fucking start it, and, you know, kickstart that shit and keep going because there's no doc, there's no documentary about how I got started in YouTube without fucking Gabriel there. If there's no interview with Gabe talking about this shit, there's no point of doing a documentary on it oh, about yeah. you know, how I got into the, you know, the journey of YouTube. And stuff like that, and uh, yeah, I, well, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, like, I, I kind of want to do that stuff just to show people that I'm not just a random fucking blogger. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could do other things. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I get how you feel because, like, when I first started on YouTube and I started doing the DVD update and everything, I eventually got to that point where I'm like, all right, I want to break outside the box here. I want to, I want to do music videos and shit. Like, you know, I, I don't want to just be stuck in this DVD realm. Yeah, you know, I mean, it, it, fine. it failed miserably, but you know, yeah, I'm not saying you will, but because like we had a we we, we watched Brendan's um I'm, sa- I'm talking about him like he's not not here, uh we watched your uh doc, family doc live one night. I mean I was high as hell, but yeah yeah um like but I, was- I mean from what I remember from it it, it was good. Yeah, you know, um, I mean, I don't, I don't think it was horrible, but I don't think it's the best. But goddamn, you know what I mean? I, I, it shows that I, I can put, if I put my mind to it, I can do something other than just going, look, I'm going into Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> look how I shoot myself walking into Walmart. Yeah, yeah. You know? uh, but that leads me back to your, uh, mm-hmm. like, uh, generally how I, I, I first found you was, was uh, essentially Night Owls, mm-hmm. particularly four and five. Mm-hmm. Um, which, you know, I, I think I may have seen the first three. I'm not for sure. I'm pretty sure I have at this point because yeah. I got the Blu-ray, you know? Um, but any, any hope of ever bringing the Night Owls back? I would like to. Shit, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to fucking get those, uh, cause the only way I have those, uh, the movie, the little shorts now are on that Blu-ray that I have that you have too. Yeah, and I'm just kind of like, how do I pull them off? How do I rip them from this fucking Blu-ray so I can get them onto my computer, so I can like re-edit them, or you're not not really re-edit, but you know, like take out the music that I know YouTube is not gonna like in there, like Back to the Future music or whatever the fuck I used because I didn't know about copyright back then. Yeah, I, like you know, change up the music a little bit. Cause I can't, I don't know how to rip them off the fucking Blu-ray, and I'm trying to figure that out. I think you need like a, a special, ad- or, you know, like add-on for your computer or something. I mean, I do. I have the the Blu-ray burner, Blu-ray drive. That's you know, I, I put to my computer. But I guess yeah. I need to find the right software or something. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, because like that's how. Because I, I mean, again, I've told this story before. You know, people know it, but like you know, when I first found the night, I was like, "Wow, these are pretty good." So I was like, "Let me watch some other stuff." By me. And here's the part of the story I've never told anybody. So I don't think you even know this part of the story. But, like, here's the part of the story that, like, I've never told anybody. But, like, I'm like, all right, I like these Night Owls things, man. Let me see what else dude does. And one of the first vi- the first video I ever clicked on of yours was you and Gabe going to the storage bin. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, so it's, like, y'all in the storage bin and everything. This is, like, my first taste of you, like, you know, being you, not, you know, acting. 
And I clicked the description and it's like, it was before I knew your taste of humor and shit like that. So I clicked the description bin or mm -hmm. description. And it was just like, Oh, me and Gabe are going to the storage bin to find movies to sell for weed. And I was <laughs> like, this guy's a fucking tool. <laughs> Fuck this guy. I'm fucking done with it. I'm over it. You know? And that, that's, that was why I was just like, Fuck this guy. I'm over it. You know? And it wasn't until I saw Sean's video of you two at the fucking, Comic Con, where I was like, okay, all right, I get it. He's pretty fucking funny. Hey. I like it. Yeah, did, yeah. I, did I really title a video on that? It wasn't the title. It was in the description. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and like that's what, believe it or not, that's what turned me off. I was just like, fuck this, you know. <laughs> but it wasn't until the the fucking the Comic Con video with Sean, where I was, you're just like, would you like to be my boyfriend? And I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> that's what. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's what got me back, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I should, I should, I should have kept up with that shit, but I, I never did. Yeah, because like those were popular for a bit. Those uh, storage bin ones and shit. No, I'm talking about like fucking with people at Comic Con. Oh, fucking with people, yeah, because that that was fucking great, dude. Oh my god. I have a feeling now if I if I did it, I'll be like, fucking like canceled or punched in the fucking face. Maybe not at a Comic Con, but maybe if you did it like people on the street, yes. Yeah. Um, here's something I want to ask you. So you, you're, you're friends with, you know, with people who would, you know, probably say are celebrities, mm. you know, to you, they're just fucking friends. So mm. like, how, how weird is it to you that like you're friends with somebody like, you know, Michael Ray Bauer and shit like that? Cause to you, that's just, Oh, that's my friend, Michael. Mm. But like the other people are just like, Oh my God, it's fucking doggy lips. You know, like fucking. So, like, d does that fucking fuck with you? In, a, in a, not fuck with you as in like, what the fuck? But like, is it is it weird for you to to be like on the outside looking in? You know what I mean? Sometimes, yes. You know what I mean. But other times, it's just like you know, I I, I know some of these actors, not all of them as as well as like some some others, but like like say like Michael, I I know him. Like I know like his flaws he knows my flaws you know what i mean yeah. like i see what he's what he really what he's really going through you know in life he knows what the fuck i'm going through you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like i he's cool but i don't i don't i don't know how to explain it. i don't see him as like you don't see like that said you don't see him as a celebrity you see him as a friend but like yeah. somebody like me i see him as like holy shit brendan has a celebrity friend yeah you know what i'm saying but like to me too like fucking for edward furlong Terminator fucking two, you know what I mean? Pet Cemetery two, Brain Scan, all that fucking shit. You know what I mean? Like, did you see that video I made with him recently? We're just chit chatting about bullshit, like video games and fucking TikTok and how he, we and him, me and him should start a TikTok and like he should throw his shit on the on the floors and rubbing them on the walls and see if he gets fucking hits from it because he needs money and shit. It's fucking it's, it's fucking hilarious to me. Now is is Furlong somebody that you would consider friends with, or was that just? Well, yes and no. Like I, I don't, I, I haven't hung out with him like I do with my Bauer or some, you know, uh -huh. some others. But it, it would be kind of cool to, you know, I'm always kind of scared to reach out, reach out to him by phone because I have his number. But I, I, uh -huh. I, I I've, I've only ever reached out to say like happy birthday or you know whatever like little messages. But I'm always like I sent one or two messages before like hey me and my boys are gonna be going to a cigar lounge. You want to come hang out with us? You know, kind of thing, but I don't, I don't want to do that too often. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, I got you. I got you. You don't know where the boundary is. Exactly. Gotcha. So, okay. So then, other than we won't count Furlong as as part of this, but like other than Bauer, who are some other people in your phone contacts that like that are famous or, or somewhat famous that you could call up and be like, "Hey, man, let's go hang out." Not really a shit ton. There's people that I know that are cool that I can message on, like social media and they'll get back to me right away like i said like furlong and you know uh thomasy e. and nicholas yeah and, i was about to say i knew that one was gonna pop you know he, he's cool but like i don't i can't i don't just i can't just call him up and be like, hey bro let's go somewhere you know we're not yeah. like that at, so, just, like, so just basically bowers the only one that you could be like hey dude let's go hang out yeah yeah pretty so much. nobody else in your phone that's popular you could just be like hey man i'm going out to eat you want to come no i mean no, not, that I enough, not, not that i have enough confidence to do it with Gotcha. I thought, not, okay, not that I don't have certain numbers in my phone, but like I just don't. I don't know what to do with some of them. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I don't. I don't want to be like, hey man, you might go do something. And there's only you know, no fucker. I shouldn't have given you my <laughs> you know phone number. You piece of shit. You know kind of thing. 
that's that's fair. I don't Uh, I I don't have that kind of confidence in myself when it comes to that. That's hey, that's understandable. I mean, I think um, like whose number did I have that? I had somebody's number that like I felt the same way, but I forgot who it was. Um, here's another question coming from one of the viewers who wanted to know. So don't kill the messenger on this one. But do you ever at all? How do I word this without making it sound like horrible? Um, Say it. Who cares? No, no. I'm just trying to figure out a way to word it. Um, do you ever feel like I guess like at a place like still living at home with like mom, sister, brother-in-law? Do you ever get that urge to like like fuck, man? I just want to be independent. Or do you? Or or have you just come to peace with just like this is cool? I don't mind living with everybody here and shit. I I've, I've, I've kind of come to peace with it, but at the same time. We all need each other when, when it comes to the family dynamic and the fun, the money and the funds and like everyone needs to be here to pay their part of stuff. Mm-hmm. If one person leaves, we're all fucked. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's times I, 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 I rely on them for some stuff. There's times they rely on me for some stuff. Like yesterday, you know, my sister, we, you know, um, I, I asked her, can I get a ride to Walmart? I want to pick up like you know some sun, my eyeglass cleaner or whatever the fuck, and some other dumb little things. She's yeah. like, yeah, but is there a way you can help me out and buy some food? You know, buy some food for the house for the kids and myself and stuff like that for the week and whatever. So it was like I spent like ninety bucks on them yesterday, you know, to, to get to get some stuff. You know what I'm saying? But yet she 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 took me over there, you know, kind of stuff. And there's times. Tell where- Casey if she needs some food and money and everything, she can come call old Daddy Will. You know. You know, but then you know, there's, I'm, not, I'm not trying to say. We, 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 <laughs> just skipped right over that, man. He's like, I'm not. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, 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 <laughs> you, you can you can be the next guy that's fucking my sister if you want to, but in your dreams, I guess. Okay. But um, you know, like I'm saying, there's just different times that, like, say, my mom needs a little extra money for rent, or my sister does, or you know, what I mean, like, we all we all fucking need each other, kind of thing. Like, if one of us leaves, we're all gonna be kind of stuck figuring out how the fuck we're gonna pay that part. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's, it's, it's one of those kind of situations, especially out here in California. But do you ever, I mean, like, I know you, you said you all depend on each other, but do you ever get that feeling where just like, fuck, I just want to get my own place and just fuck all this shit? Maybe, but at the same time, I knew I, I don't think I can afford it. Yeah, okay. By okay. myself, like, you know, like, like even a, a one bedroom is like $1,300, or not 1300 bucks, like, what do you call it, $2,200, $2,300 starting. Jesus. A- it's like a little shit, like a little shithole, and I, I definitely, I definitely can't get a studio because I have to, just, I have too much shit to get a fucking studio. You know, so I don't know what to fucking do out here. Even if I was going to do it, twenty three hundred dollars for a single bedroom—that's fucked up. Yeah. Fuck, man. All right, and I think the last thing I got written down here is some, some places are even more expensive than that. I was talking about the shittiest of the shit holes. Damn, the shittiest shithole is twenty three hundred dollars. Yes. So if you don't mind telling us, I mean, if you mind, then we can just skip it. But how much is rent at your place? My mom. Uh, I'm just gonna round. I'm just gonna round up a little bit. But each, okay. my mom pays a thousand. I pay a thousand. My sister pays a thousand. It's a three bedroom apartment. So around three grand. Yes. Plus plus I, bills and you know like phone yeah, plus and utilities, all that shit. All that shit. Yes. Fuck, oh, man. And that's a three bedroom. Yes. And that's a and that's a in a somewhat nice neighborhood. <laughs> in uh, nah neighborhood. Yeah, let's just say there's yeah in the uh, yeah a uh, yeah, uh, uh, like in the middle ground neighborhood. Not you don't have to run to the trash can to th- throw away your trash. No, but there's 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 some fucking you know scuzzy people out on the corners. You know what I'm saying? Okay, gotcha. You go too far up the street and you got to start fucking putting your hands in your pockets to make sure you know. Yeah, pretty much. Got you. I mean, I'm um, I'm fine. I wouldn't want to see my mom or my sister and the kids be walking out there by themselves. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um. So the last thing here, I, I wrote down Gabe, but I I really don't fucking know what to ask about Gabe because I, I, I don't I don't see him that often anymore. Really? When was the last time you saw him? A couple months ago, when I went when I randomly went up to Huntington Beach where he lives with a swap meet searcher, and uh, he lives with swap meet searcher. No, no, he lives with he lives with his grandmother. Oh, oh my, oh wow. And uh, I don't know how long that's gonna be. You know what I'm saying? 
And he's he's been going through a lot of fucking shit up there. It's been stressing me the fuck out, and I can't do anything about it because I don't have a car. He doesn't have a car. We don't live anywhere near each other. Mm-hmm. And you know, it's I don't know. It's all kinds of fucked up. He has a job now, but hopefully, he, hopefully, he'll be able to keep it. Hmm. Now, like you know, he has his uh, I guess you could say, personal demons. I guess we could I do say. too. I do too when it comes to food and shit. Yeah, with food, but like I think his are you know, of the uh, drinking variety. Um, and maybe drugs. Really? I was unaware of that one. I, 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 he says it. I've never seen him do it, but he says it. And he's, he's, he's one of those easily impressionable people. And if he's around the wrong people, he might just do it. Hmm. Um, has, have you or himself or anybody around them ever tried to get him help for that kind of problem? Um, I know his... Uh, stepmom tried something one you know a handful of times but just the way the way they go about it is it doesn't help it doesn't help anything like they don't do it like you know like hey gabe listen man you got to do that they try and do it like forcefully or something yeah that's, that's what it sounds like from from gabe's side i, I never talked to them i never seen them or talked to them before mm-hmm. so all i hear is what gabe says about them because mm. like I- which of course the alcoholics would be like you know, negative towards them automatically for whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. They're doing. I just hope I just hope that their family is not taking advantage of him and the money, the little bit of money that he does make and just taking it all away. You know what I'm saying? I just hope they're not doing that with him. Now you don't you don't have to say where he works, but what does he do for work? I believe he's like a dishwasher. Dishwasher? Oh, okay. Hey, honest hey, that's honest work. You know? Yeah, because yeah. that's sometimes what I, I, I get questions about because like again people think i'm your fucking biographer and shit sometimes and people will come in they're like oh man how's gabe doing i'm like y'all act like i fucking i i've talked to gabe like a handful of times Mm -hmm. you know i've talked to gabe more times when like he's been in the background of your house than than i have like personally because like he used to message me every now and then you know just so he could you know say skeet 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 and then be on his way yeah that motherfucker still does that to me too does he really (laughs) Here, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read you a couple of the messages that, that, that he sent me last, earlier okay. today on Instagram. Um, so what was it called? I, so are you going to Power Morphicon? And I'm like, what? He's like, I know you're going to Power Morphicon this year. You know, blah, 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 talking about taking a bus. And I'm like, I'll go. You know, if I do go, it's going to be on a Sunday if I go. He's like, can I suck your cock? And then he goes, Papi Chulo. What are you doing today? I'm like, I'm out going to see the movie, the new movie Bad Boys. He's like, so can I smell your pee-pee? I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so that, that's right. That, that, that was my messages today with him. Wow. I like, got to work. I suck your cock and I want to smell your pee-pee. You know what I mean? Like, what? I just thought about starting off so casually. Like, you going to Power Morphicon? Uh, what? Uh, can I suck your cock? You know, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking he's, he's he's my boy. I don't give a fuck. I know I know he doesn't mean. I know. That. I just love how it started off so naturally too. Like going to Power Morphicon. What? What do you mean? Can I suck your cock? Yeah. <laughs> just two extremes there. You know, like there was no build up towards it. You know, just no. This is how he is. Yeah. All right. I think that was everything that I had planned there. So I think that'll do it. Unless I can think of anything else. Uh, mm-hmm. Which. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. So I think we're going to wrap it up here. So, right. yeah. So thanks, Brendan, for coming on to Stories No One Asked for the podcast. I've been wanting to do this one for a while. So um, hopefully people enjoyed this one. And I know this one's going to get some views because I know Brendan's going to share this one out. Yeah. Um, yeah. So thank you, Brendan, for coming on. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this week's episode. Don't know when the next one's going to be because I've been doing these very sporadically lately. So until next time, guys, I'm the Artist Version 1, and remember, be breezy.